Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith and this is... Pet McDonald, and we're here to continue our playthrough of The Gallerist, Solo Edition. Right, we're working together, we've opened up a gallery, and it's doing pretty well. We've got a bunch, well, we've got a bunch of people in the gallery. We've got basically nothing to show them. Well, we got one painting and it's really expensive. <laughs> and horrifying. <laughs> you know what we need? We need a consultant. We need someone to come in who can give us some help. And we've got one. We do. Yeah, the viewer who got the most votes last time was Paulo Renato. He provided lots of great suggestions, not just for our next turn, but for even the turns after that. I think the whole episode, actually. <laughs> pretty, pretty much this has been brought to you by Paulo. <laughs> Let's go to the table and see what he wants us to do. Well, I am thrilled with Paulo's first suggestion, which is to move to the artist's colony and discover a new artist. I haven't been a huge fan of Jean-Luc's work so far, and hopefully this new guy is going to be better for our gallery. I find your lack of faith disturbing. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Vader Pep. I know you discovered that other artist. I just, I think we need some variety. Some variety in our gallery. All right, I'm going to trust you on this one. And hey, it's a sculpture too, so it'll be something different to put in our gallery. And we're also gaining this benefit. This will allow us to move any visitor from the plaza directly into our gallery. And as the money guy, I like seeing more investors. So we're gonna move an investor in here. That's what I would have done, and what Paulo would have done as well. All right, so we're all in agreement, which is good. <laughs> now it's a three-player solo game. <laughs> this is just getting out of hand. Let's take a look at this new artist. Right, and uh, do we have a name for this one? Maybe, uh, let's see, uh, Francesco Bonaparte. What is that, the great-great-grandchild of Napoleon? <laughs> Maybe. He is at least a little famous. He's starting here with five fame. Hopefully he's just what our gallery needs. And we need to take his signature token and place it into our commission space. Yeah, good thing we moved the signature token out of there that we had before. Yes, because we can only have one commissioned artist at a time. All right, we have an executive action we can take. Yes, I think I'll use my personal assistant, Jendrick, to go and collect some money. Your personal assistant? Yes, he goes way back, basically part of the family. The family. I, I, I'm actually kind of curious. How exactly is your personal assistant collecting all this money from the investors and collectors in our gallery. You know, he just talk, goes from person to person, talks to them, and he comes back with a briefcase of money. I really don't like to ask questions. <laughs> they just hand him over the money. Apparently, he seems very convincing. Is he your assistant or is he like a henchman? Is this a shakedown? I, I, I don't know, he has a goatee, but I try not to judge him. As a quick reminder, this effect just means that we gain two money from each investor and one from each collector in our gallery. And when I say gain, I don't know, it kind of feels more like we might be extorting them or something. <laughs> However we're getting this money, it's gonna be a total of seven for the three investors and one collector. It's so great to see these investors being so generous. Yeah, but I want to know, Pep, what's going to happen when we can't pay them back. Is someone going to come and bust my kneecaps? Did I ever tell you what happened to my last business partner? The one you told me about who went away for like years and I've never seen again? Yeah, he went off to the farm. Oh, like my dog did when I was a kid. Yeah, just like that. We also can't forget any time we kick out Lacerda's gallerist or one of his pawns, we have to take out a ticket from the supply from the stack that had the most. Well, Lacerda, predictable Lacerda, is moving clockwise one space. Normally, he leaves an assistant behind, but if there's not a space there to put it, then he doesn't. He's playing right into our plans. Yes, and Paulo suggests that we follow him right there. Okay. <laughs> because he's been kicked out again, that means we also have to remove another ticket. Now, we have two piles that are the same height, white and pink. We can choose either one. Let's just go with white again. So the action that we're gonna be taking at this location is to hire some more assistants. I'm really happy again with Paula's suggestion here because clearly the people we've been hiring so far are somewhat questionable. At least one of them is very, very sketchy. Don't worry, Rodney. I've had Gendrick go off and vet some new assistants. They're big, burly fellows. You know, I think they can do some heavy lifting. Oh man, just when I think we're starting to elevate ourselves, pull ourselves out of the mire, you pull us back in. Just so everyone's clear, what Peppa's saying is he's gone and dragged in some muscle-bound street thugs to be our assistants. Hey, don't downplay these guys too much. They cost us five million dollars. Right. One money for the first one, two for the second, and two for the next. Are you saying all the values in this game are millions of dollars? I'd like to think so. <laughs> okay. Well, thankfully these thugs uh, or assistants are coming with some other perks. We're gonna be gaining a brown and pink ticket, which hopefully we can use later effectively in an executive action. Speaking of which, we can perform an executive action right now and we're gonna do that. We have two tickets to spend. One of them we'll use to bring this investor into our gallery. And the other to pull a VIP in a bit closer. And you might have noticed when we moved this turn, we didn't leave an assistant behind because we didn't have any. These we just hired now. And these other two, once they're on a contract, they stay there until it's fulfilled. I guess you could say they're contract killers. Seriously, Pep? <laughs> well, now Lacerda moves, and we've really been playing this well, Pep, because he's gonna be kicking out his own assistant, and 
he's not able to leave one behind. There is one downside though. Anytime he enters the international market, he's gonna place one of his assistants on one of the spaces and the first place he goes is here. So we'll remove this particular token from the board. It's just returned to the box. And this means he's gained some influence in this column. We'll beat him within an inch of his life. Pep, stop it, you're going too dark. I'm starting to question our partnership. You can't get out now. I'm in too deep. Once again, another action I'm really excited about. We're going to the sales office and we're gonna be selling that train wreck of a painting. However, we did kick out one of Lacerda's assistants. What happens now, Rodney? Well, we're gonna have to lose one of these tickets. Both pink and white have the same amount, so we'll remove one of these VIP tickets, and the assistant will go back to Lacerda's supply. Now, for all my complaining about this painting, I have to concede, we did end up finding a buyer. We better seal this deal before they change their mind. So the first thing that we do is we gain the money based on where the signature token is of the painting we're selling. And right now, it's beside the one gold star, so we're gonna get $14, or $14 million, as Pep would say. This artwork will now leave our gallery, but we're gonna hang on to it because this is gonna help us satisfy some of the conditions of our art dealer. If we get two of the paintings sold, and we have one of them sold already, we'll gain 10 extra money at the end of the game. Now the person who bought the painting is gonna leave the gallery, presumably a happy customer, and that's gonna be one of these investors, which means that Pierre, Jean-Luc's own friend didn't even bother buying this painting. He sees better things on the rise. I certainly hope so. And with the contract fulfilled, the assistant will now return to an empty desk. Thankfully, there's one here for it. Oh, and Jendrick, it's so nice to see you again. <laughs> oh, right, this is the henchman from before. I'm gonna keep my eye on you, stay at your desk. All right, we're gonna flip over the contract, and then this side needs to go up because it was an investor that bought the painting. And we have an executive action, so I know what I'm going to use it for. I'm gonna send Jendrick off to oh, go get no. some more money. <laughs> He's gonna extort some more money. Pep, is it really too late? Can we just use a different assistant? We could say this is a charity event. We're doing some fundraising. Nope, it's too late. There's no going back, that's, that's definitely Jendrick, goatee, and everything. So the effect of this uh, extortion, again, is that each investor will provide $2 million and each collector will provide $1 million for a grand total of $7 million. I don't necessarily approve of his methods, but they certainly get results. Now I know some of you, when we move to this location, we're probably screaming at your monitors, don't forget to leave behind an assistant. We didn't forget, we just uh, waited until now to do it. But we really should do that as soon as we move. You don't think they're actually screaming, do you? I know they are, <laughs> and I don't blame them. But now it's Lacerda's turn. He's going to move, and he's kicking us out of this spot here. Oh, he's so Lacertive. <laughs> That's good. We have a kicked out action here that we could take, and I do want to mention, Paulo did not include in his recommendations what to do if we got kicked out during this whole process. So Pep, we're flying on our own. I think you have an idea here. Yes, I'd like to take a location action, so we'll have to spend our last little bit of influence. I don't know if it's all the goons we've been hiring or what, but our influence was already pretty low. So we're getting this extra action pretty cheap. Now I have to admit, Pep, I was surprised when you wanted to take a location action here and maybe not somewhere else. So what do you have in mind? Well, the reason that I want a contract is it has a free assistant on it and we're going to need some extra paintings for sale later. Right, if we're trying to achieve this art dealer objective. Exactly. We will need to fill in the empty space here, so I'll place a new contract. And we did cover up a pink ticket, which we'll collect from the supply and add to our board. Well, Lacerda's kicked us out, so we better move ourselves back to the gallery before we decide what to do on our next turn. And before taking that turn, I'd like to exercise my 14th Amendment right to use uh, my executive action first. I don't think it's 14th Amendment. It's newly added. <laughs> okay. So you want to perform the executive action before we take our regular action. I do. And the rule book clearly states that I may do this. All right. Fair enough. So what's your plan? I'm going to move in one of these hired goons from before to hire another hired goon. <laughs> oh, no. So this ability here, this bonus, lets us take an assistant for free. So this one will come over to the desk. By doing this, not only did we avoid paying three money for the new assistant, but we also get to trigger this ability. If you're having trouble seeing it, it's the same one that's pictured here, which means we'll gain two influence for every VIP in our gallery and one for every collector. So with these visitors, we gain a total of three influence. After a little damage control, maybe a PR campaign, our influence is now on the rise and we're up to three. Pep, we've got a lot of visitors in our gallery and absolutely nothing to show them. I'm afraid they're all gonna leave. So let's get that commissioned painting that Francesco Barnaparto was working on. His initial fame, which is his current fame of five, is what we're gonna have to pay. So we'll return this to the supply. Actually, Rodney, I'd like to take this opportunity to spend a little bit more of my influence. I mean, our influence. Thanks for clarifying that. Okay, so Pep's saying at the moment that we're spending this money, he wants to drop our influence down to here, to this icon, so that instead of spending five, we only have to spend four. Now, Pep, that seems like a lot of influence to spend just for one measly dollar. Yeah, but we can see we're gonna be kicked out in our next action. We're probably gonna end up spending it anyway. The visitors here will enter the plaza, 
And now we'll increase the fame of the artist by one plus one for every collector we have. So his fame is going up by two. We also gained some tickets as shown here. A pink one and either brown or white. What are you thinking, Pep? Should we go white? White sounds good. All right, so we'll collect that one as well. We'll collect the artwork here and the artwork underneath shows two tickets. So that's how many visitors I've drawn from the bag to put there. Now we can place this giant pink what? rabbit thing. <laughs> what the heck is this? Francesco, we don't want a pink rat bunny thing. It's a bunny rat. It kind of looks like a bunny rat, yeah. We're having the worst luck with this artwork, but everyone's still in the gallery, so I guess. You know what, Rodney? The more I stare at it, the more I can kind of see the inner beauty. Yeah, whatever good qualities it have, it's probably buried very deep inside of whatever that is. You're such a critic. But now we'll move the signature token to the current fame level of the artist. In this case, two green stars. Lacerda now moves, and he's going to go to the artist's colony, kicking us out. He will leave an assistant behind. Hey, wait. Yeah, I'm just realizing something here. You too? Yeah, <laughs> we good, that's a good band. <laughs> we forgot to uh, leave an assistant behind. The last time we sort of moved, we'll do that now. Now, as Pep was mentioning, it's our plan to take the location action here. So we're gonna be spending our remaining influence, putting it to zero. We get the kicked out action, which we want to use to buy another painting. You know, I'd like to buy from an artist that they've been here this whole time. This entire game, this artist has been there in the background. They've already been discovered. We were just ignoring them. Right. And their art is worth nothing dirt cheap right now. <laughs> That's we the real can, reason. <laughs> yeah, we can get in on the ground floor. Okay. So I'd like to buy Phoebe's art. Okay, she does photography, and as you said, her paintings are really cheap right now. They only cost one money, which we'll return to the supply. And first things first, we'll move this visitor to the plaza. And now her fame increases by, well, zero, plus one for every collector we have in our gallery. And as you might recall, we have one collector in our gallery, so it'll go up by one. And we get a pink ticket. Which is shown here, and we'll collect the painting, revealing a single ticket here, so I'll draw one random visitor from the bag. You know what, Pep, this might be the first piece of artwork that I actually kind of like. It's gonna be dazzle our visitors. You know, I'm not gonna argue with you. I just like hearing you be positive. <laughs> okay, let's, let's stay on that positive trend because now we get the signature token for the artist. Which will go on the one green star. And something else to be positive about, we're very close. We get another painting into our gallery. We'll unlock this token. And finally, because we were kicked out, we have to go back to our gallery. And that's good because we're ending the video here, turning it over to you, and now you can go anywhere you want. Anywhere you want. Well, up to four places on the board, technically, but yeah, anywhere there. Anyway. <laughs> and as we turn things over to you, perhaps provide suggestions for one or two rounds at most. Maybe not the, <laughs> the whole setting. Paul, you did a great job, but we have to make our own mistakes occasionally in here, right? We actually didn't even get to his fifth round suggestion. No, he even had a fifth round suggestion, that's right. But we need to end here and turn it over to you. Put your comments below as to what you think we should do. If you like what someone says, give them a thumbs up. If you have your own ideas, create that as a comment. Maybe someone will vote for that. Whichever one does get the most votes, that's what we'll come back and do. But until the next episode, thanks, thanks for watching. watching.